Hey, what's up guys, Johnny here, back with more Call of Duty Mobile. In today's video, the five best weapons for Season 2 in Ranked Multiplayer. Now, the cool thing, guys, is the five best weapons in the game right now are free to play. You ever hear some guys say, COD Mobile is pay to win now? Well, that is not true. Show them this video, guys. The best weapons in the game are totally free. And then they will say, yeah, but what about the skins? Well, the skins too. Guys, today I'm showing you the five best weapons and their rare free to play skins. So not only the best weapons are free, but also the rare skins. They all have free to play rare skins right now and you guys can have it too. So let's go with my top five list and there's no specific order. It's not number five and number one are the best and the fifth one, but it depends on the situation, depends on the map, depends on the game mode. You want five different loadouts to be able to play all the ranked modes in ranked multiplayer. So let's start with my loadout number one. It's my go-to loadout. It's the one I use in a lot of situations, many maps, many game modes. I love the AK-117, guys. AK-117 was the best weapon last season, and it got a bit of a nerf because it's got more recoil now, but it's still a top five weapon, in my opinion. It's very good at all ranges, like seriously in short range, or close range battles is still gonna give you very good time to kill and it's pretty accurate at medium range long range uh, it's got decent mobility it's got great damage it's a very very good all-around weapon so you can use it in all game modes if you like it's very stable it's very easy to use on my number one loadout I use it with flight jacket and dead silent now I use stock and FMG for attachments. The grip is very personal. A lot of guys will prefer quick draw instead because they say the accuracy is already pretty good. So whatever you like guys, but you gotta try AK-117 in season two is still a top five weapon. Now some guys say, what about the skins? The skins are pay to win. Well, that's not true. The magic bull skin was free about a week ago. You could have it for uh, reaching top 5% in ID collection event. So this is a free skin. We also have the star camo that was free last season for reaching pro one in ranked multiplayer so yeah there are free to play skins you just have to hunt for them and get your hands on one if you want but seriously guys to the people that say skins are pay to win what you get with these rare ar skins it's all the same perk you get a bit more movement speed after you respawn so i don't think it's pay to win it's really not a big deal and they all have the same anyways so yeah, like if you really think it's pay to win, you can use pretty much any skin for real. And on top of that, guys, if you check out the credits shop, there's an AK-117 rare skin for 3,000 credits. Guys, you know how easy it is to get 3,000 credits? Just play the game. You get about 100 every day just for being in a clan. Also, you open your free crates. When you get them, you do the weekly challenges. Uh, just log in every day, you get like 250 plus per week. So seriously, if you even play the game, you can get that like easy, easy. So yeah, just get a rare skin for the AK-117 and you're good to go. Now loadout number two, you need a sniper loadout for some situations, some maps you like to play sniper, maybe in search and destroy sometimes on defense or whatever you like to do with your sniper. It's good to have a sniper class. Sometimes it's just to like get revenge on a, a camper and you want to get back at him. But now, like, I use the DLQ still. I know a lot of guys on Season 2 have moved to uh, the Arctic 50 because of the balance changes. But it's really personal. I know a lot of guys still use DLQ. Now, free skin. We just got it for free yesterday. The Deep Shark skin. It was a thank you gift yesterday. You can still log in today and get your free gift. But seriously, you get a free rare skin for a sniper in the game. The perks is when you get kills, you have a chance to get one more bullet in your magazine. It's gonna reload one bullet. Now, it is still random. Is it really pay to win? I mean, whatever you guys think, it's up to you. But if you want the rare skin, it's free for everyone. Everyone has it and like you don't have to use it. And since it's random, I don't think it's really pay to win. But still, we're not here to discuss if it's pay to win or not, it's just you can get the best weapons in the game for free. And if you want skins, you can have skins for free also. Now let's go with the next loadout, MSMC. It's a rushing class. It's good for small maps. It's good for, well, some guys use it in all game modes for real, because this weapon is so good. It's the fastest time to kill in the game at close range. You get face to face with someone with the MSMC, you win the fight for real. 
it's killing so fast it's got insane fire rate the problem though is the recoil okay so don't try to fight at long range you're not gonna hit your shots it's a class that you want to get close to your opponent so you want to sprint get in their spawn and kill them from short range so msmc right now is the best smg in the game in season two I know it's not a good all-around weapon, but it's a very, very good close-range weapon. So again, it depends on your playstyle. If you like to fight from longer range, like don't use it because you're not going to do good. But if you like to rush, uh, it's the best in the game. Now on this class, I still use Flag Jacket and Dead Silent. Some guys will use Lightweight because they want to go even faster. It's up to you guys, but I like Flag Jacket in ranked multiplayer. Now you want to talk about free skins. A rare MSMC Ribbon Explosion is available right now for the holiday event. All you gotta do is go to your event tab and check out the holiday coming. All you had to do is log in 14 days during the event to get the Ribbon Explosion MSMC. If you miss your shot at the holiday one, you got a free rare MSMC skin just for leveling up to 33. So everyone has a rare MSMC. They also got the same perk. When you get kills, you have a chance to reload some bullets in the mag so msmc not that easy to use but you have to play and practice to get better with it it's one of the best weapons in the game right now now let's go with class number four back to the type 25 it's a weapon i used to play a lot uh, months ago before even the game launched it was my favorite weapon but after the nerf it was not that great and then i started using ak117 but in season two after the recent balance changes a lot of top players are back to the Type 25. It's really good. The thing with Type 25 is the fire rate. It's got the fastest fire rate of all ARs. So at close range, you're gonna get insane time to kill. The cool thing with the Type 25 compared to the MSMC is you have the option to fight from medium or long range if you want. With the MSMC, if you have a long range situation, you're just gonna avoid it. Now on that one, I used a grip, silencer, and extended mag. It's my search and destroy class. I made a video about a week ago, guys. Go on my channel and check out my search and destroy video. Now, once again, you can have free rare skins for the type 25. If you played season one, it was the last reward on the free to play battle pass. So you did not have to buy the battle pass to get that one. All you had to do is play every day, do your challenges every day, and you had the Type 25 at the end. Once again, the perk is the same on all rare ARs, is extra speed when you respawn. Now, once again, I don't see it as a pay to win perk, but this is free anyway, so all you had to do is play. You cannot even buy it. Now, my last loadout is the S36 loadout. Guys, S36, once again, guys, I'm not saying it's the best weapon in the game. I said there's no specific order, it's just... I think these are the five best weapons in the game. And again, it depends on the situation, the map, the game mode. But S36 is the best LMG in the game right now. Again, the fast fire rate makes a huge difference in ranked multiplayer. Fast fire rate means fast time to kill. At close range, if you hit your shots, you're going to kill faster. The problem with the LMGs is the mobility. So you're going to have very slow movement speed. So I don't really like LMGs in Domination. I think in Domination, you have to be mobile. You have to be able to go back to B if your friends are trying to capture or go back to A from B if you are getting captured, you want to defend. So mobility is really important in some game modes. But for small maps and team deathmatch, I really, really like LMGs, guys. So this is my small map team deathmatch loadout. I like it on Hijack. I like it on Kill House and Nuketown. Now, I decided to go with Lightweight on that one because I want extra movement speed. But you can still go with Flag Jacket because it's going to save your life very often. Now, for the free skin, the Headless Rider was free on the ID collection event once again around the Halloween so all you had to do is collect pumpkins, and if you place in the top 5%, you had that free Headless Rider rare skin on the S36. The perk on the rare LMG is you're going to reload faster when your mag is low. Again, big deal, yes or no. I use fast mag, by the way, on these LMGs, uh, FMJ fast mag and stock, but you can go with whatever you like. I just think it's good to reload faster, because just the perk's not going to be enough, and it's random. So once again, that is my top five weapons for season two, the best weapons in the game in no specific order. It depends on the situation, the map, the game mode. So AK-117, one of my favorite ARs, although it got nerfed a little bit, is still a top five weapon in my opinion. Now you need a sniper class if you play ranked multiplayer. In some situations, it's always good to be able to switch to the sniper, even if you're not a big sniper player. 
Now, DLQ or Arctic 50 is personal preference. I know Arctic 50 is really popular, but I still like DLQ. The MSMC is the best close range weapon in the game. You have to try it and practice to get better. It's tough to control the recoil, but if you master it, you're gonna have really good games. The Type 25 is probably the number one AR in the game right now. After the recent balance changes, a lot of top players are using it again. And lastly, the S36, best LMG in the game. Low mobility, but very good time to kill. Tons of ammo, and very fun to use. So that's it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed my top five. Hit the like if you did and leave a comment below. If your top five is different from mine, I wanna know, I wanna hear from you guys. Now don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more Call of Duty mobile videos. I will be back soon. Till then, watch my other videos. Take care.